All Elite Wrestling, AEW, has created quite the buzz, especially with the ownership backing, backstage leadership, and talent signing, including a very pivotal acquisition. Multi-talented jack of most trades, Chris Jericho. And one of those trades is the popular Talk is Jericho podcast on Westwood One that has amassed, get this, 220 million downloads. With all that he's accomplished and will accomplish, I'm wondering, and thank you so much, Chris. Hey, how did the yard sale go on Saturday? I love when people say yard sale, like I was standing out with like a, like a rack of clothes on my front lawn. Uh, <laughs> That's really cool. And it was great because it was also a fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation of Tampa. And I'm just wondering, are you able to tell us how much was raised? And was there a reason why you and your wife, Jessica, chose that foundation? And then lastly on that, and I want to talk about the podcast, what was the highest priced item to go? What was the coolest item? And was there anything hard to let go of? <laughs> Well, that's really cool. And I know that there was a Lion's Tale autobiography. You had a bunch of signed copies of those. And you also had a, a really cool signed giant cutout. So it really was a, a cool estate event, a state sale, not a yard sale, and also for a good, a good cause. So that was really cool. Okay, let's talk podcast. So tell us about it and your inspiration for doing it when you first started it. I don't want to hear any, any dirt on anybody if you don't want to. Just come and have a, have a, have a good time and have a conversation. 
conversation with me. And that's basically what we based, we built it around. Yeah, that's interesting, too, because it's more of a conversation rather than having all these questions, list of questions. And then I'm curious, though, too, though, do you have, though, anything written down, like maybe some just points or key points or just some you want to talk about or no, it really is just no questions and we just talk. And is that what you have learned from doing your very first podcast to what you're doing now? Or and is it morphed and developed from your first one? Or has it always even been like that for the first one? That's incredible, though. More than 500 shows, 550, 560. That's great. I don't want to talk about the, the bad. I'd rather talk about the good. There Are there a few guests that come to mind when you say, okay, Chris, who stands out? It's just like, oh, my God, that was really good. I had real, a lot of fun with that. It, you've had so many different guests. And, and by the way, it's you mentioned Paul Stanley. There are so many different type of guests. This is not a wrestling podcast. This is really a show. This is more of a conversation, but with with people from all over, different walks of life. 